Welcome to the channel, my name's Jamison, and in this core kit of guide, I'm going to be showing you all how to make the most overpowered and ridiculously insane mining build currently available as of the 0.3.13 patch. Let's get on with the video. To start this build off, I'm going to mention the stats, although you can do this build without them, but for the sake of this video, I'm using a character where I've maxed everything out, so he has the highest level of mining. So plus 100 mining damage. And from here we'll break down the gear I'm going to be using. For the base version of this build, you're going to want the Lava Helm, because it will give you plus 26 mining damage. You're going to want the Lava Chest, which will give you an additional 28. You're going to want the Caveling Pants, because it will give you 8% mining damage. Orb Lantern, with 9% mining damage boost. Then the Azios Beak, which gives you 41 mining damage. It's better than the Ancient Gem Necklace for this build. An Ancient Gem Ring, because of its 62 mining damage, we will have two of them. And then along with this, I'm going to use the Rare Orange Mold Cheese, because it will give me an additional 10 mining damage, which isn't much, but that's what you get when you mix Pafungi with the Orange Cave Guppy. And you have maxed out cooking, so that's just going to give us a little boost there for 7 minutes. And then, of course, we'll be using the Ancient Pickaxe. Now we've broken down the gear, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to bump it up even further. First off, you can go ahead and equip your three bits of jewellery and your orb lantern. From here, we're going to take advantage of the newest mechanic brought over from the experimental branch, and that is the reinforcement mechanic. So to do that, we're going to go to our repair bench, Click on our golden hammer, and we're going to reinforce our lava helm. So instead of doing 26 mining damage, we will do 30. And then we'll proceed to do the same to our lava chest, which will give us 32. And that required 6 lava. So go into the hive biome or use a mob farm. And then from here, we're going to reinforce our caveling pants. It's going to cost us four fiber. You can get them from your bug farm or from the grub caprock or caprock, I can't say it. And that will boost our mining damage percentage to nine. And then, of course, we're going to reinforce the ancient pickaxe, which anybody should be doing, even if you're not doing this build, because look at that. You're boosting your mining damage by 53, your mining speed by 1.2%, and you're doubling the durability. Why wouldn't you? It's stupid not to for three Scarlet Bars. Anyway, that's all done. We can exit our workbench. And we can go ahead and equip everything. And now I'll break down the stats. Currently I can do 965 mining damage. But we haven't eaten our cheese yet, so I'm going to cut out into my test area and show you how effective this is against the mold walls. All right, here we are in the test area. I'm going to place down a mold wall. I'm going to eat my cheese, which will boost our mining damage to 978. One, two, three. And just like that, you break through your mold walls in three hits. This once again makes the previously nerfed ancient pickaxe the best mining weapon in the game and you no longer need to worry about building mega bombs to blow holes in the mold dungeon to get to that poisonous sickle quickly and that's it for this guide guys relatively simple but overpowered build if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it by all means give it a thumbs down and if you have the time and you'd like to provide some general feedback for this video a suggestion for a future one or you just want to say good day drop me a comment down below and if you'd really like to help myself and the channel out please guys hit that subscribe button well once again my name is jamison and i will see you all in the next one bye for now